A fierce storm packing hurricane force wind gusts dumped more than a foot of rain on parts of South Florida on November 16, flooding homes and streets, downing power lines and trees, and leaving tens of thousands of homes and businesses without power. In the 20 years I have been in Miami, this is the first time I have seen this situation like this, if it had been a super strong storm, there would be no one left, Ana Hernandez said outside her home where her entire Hialeah neighborhood flooded the storm, which started on November 15, dropped almost 14 inches of rain from Key Largo to Fort Lauderdale while wind gusts topped out at 86 miles per hour. The U.S. National Service said on Thursday more than 86,000 homes and businesses remained without. Electricity early on Thursday afternoon across Miami-Dade, Broward and Palm Beach counties, according to the tracking site PowerRootage.us, as the storm crawled north. And the red stuff they put there ends up on our property because the waves bring it on our property. When we, la when we left last year, we had the same, same thing. I was out, out there in my swimsuit to, uh, to rake up all that, uh, that, that stuff so my grass, when I come back at this year, does not burn. It's the second time that happened, so obviously our sewer system is, uh, is not adequate for that type of rain. I'm not concerned about the pavement because it's all paved, you know what I mean? Underneath it's, 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 all, it's all cement. Go take a picture of the drain too. <laughs> that doesn't work. Nothing. Yeah, we just had a lot of rain. I just read that uh, Fort Lauderdale is approaching. It's probably over the record now that was set back in 1947 of 102 inches. And we were at 101 before this storm. So. We're number one. I would imagine it'll be gone by Monday morning. Yeah, three days at least. You can always tell, okay, if you look up there, See the white mailbox on the right? Okay, when the water starts to recede there, it goes pretty quick. But here's the big problem, right behind you. Go, go this way. Now watch. And, and people just, they don't care they don't live in here and they come down here like it's a racetrack. That, that makes things worse and worse. En los 20 años que tengo en Miami, eh, no es la primera vez que veo esta situación así. Eh, nada, la inundación esta que nunca eh, habíamos visto tanta, tanta agua como anoche y todo, todo, eh, en todo el día.
Esto hace un aproximado de mucho tiempo que no pasaba esto aquí. Pero verdad que lo sentimos porque todos, si hubiera sido una tormenta súper fuerte, no quedamos nadie.